Good morning, everyone. My name is Mitch Novick. I own the Sherbrooke Hotel located behind Mangoes in the crisis, crime-ridden entertainment district. To begin, once again, I'd like to cite a quote attributed to Winston Churchill. Government can always be counted on to do the right thing after having exhausted all the alternatives. This coming week marks the one-year anniversary when there was a drive-by shooting outside my home and business. As you recall, two people were shot. Fortunately, our great police were able to make an arrest and a conviction of the perpetrator. For the last two years, I've been asking this commission not to throw money at the police. I've been here for nearly 30 years, and every time there are skirmishes on Ocean Drive, your predecessors, well, let's just hire more police. Never worked, never will work. What's happening on Ocean Drive is not a police issue. It's entirely a zoning issue. Yes, it's the noise from Mangoes, the Clevelander, the Edison, and others, which is the core, the prime reason public safety can no longer be insured. It's deteriorated to the point where it's scary. We've lost, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, dozens of national retailers, international tourists who would come here yearly, sometimes twice a year, avoid this place like the plague. In the past two weeks, we've had four brutal attacks, three of them which made the news. The attack at 14th and Meridian, the attack across from the police station at the Burger King. There was an attack, there are police records regarding May 6th, about 8 p.m. in front of Wet Willies, another 10-on-1 situation, and of course, this past Saturday night. 10-on-1, guy knocked unconscious in the middle of Ocean Drive. Police are not the answer. You need to take care of the noise. Once you do that, is when you will be able to get a hold and return normalcy and hopefully bring some prosperity back to this neighborhood. Last night, I have patrol cars outside my home once again with lights on. That's being wasteful. It's almost as if somebody's panicking. And I don't blame the police. I know this has been a directive from you guys. You are the chief's bosses and the roadblocks, that's going to come back and haunt you. I have a public records request, and I urge you, Raul, I don't know where you are, you should not fiddle with any of those public records. You know my history, long and loud, beginning with the Coral Rock House, beginning with the Code Compliance Fire Department investigations. Yes, I played a role in that. And I urge you, those records need to be untouched. At the last commission meeting, the vice mayor kept saying, arrests are down, Ocean Drive is great again. She must have repeated it seven times. Arrests are down nationally. A report was released by the FBI regarding the Ferguson effect. I urge you all to look into that. And in closing, a top administrator said to me I don't know, three or four years ago, he goes, Mitch, you're only truly happy when you have some sort of public scandal brewing in your life. So I'm trying to figure that out. Thank you. Hey, Mitch. Yes. Do you think it's just a noise issue? Do you think it's a liquor issue? Absolutely. And moreover, the voters of this city in, in South Point, by a margin of nearly 70% to 30%, right. want to see closing time on Ocean Drive roll back to 2 a.m. from 5 a.m. Right. Listen, I agree 100% with everything you just said, and I think what the city's been trying to do is put a Band-Aid on cancer. Absolutely. And, uh, and I understand, Phil, you were great, but you're one voice. Yeah. The problem is your colleagues, who've all taken money from these Ocean Drive special interests, who they're beholden to, and that's unfortunate. But I'm optimistic that's going to change. Thank you, Mitch. Thank okay. you. Anyone else?